Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are talking about KiwiSaver and uh, my top three things which I recommend you should be doing with the KiwiSaver regardless of what sort of age you are or when you're thinking about retiring. Okay, these are my top three tips on what you sh everyone in New Zealand should be doing with their KiwiSaver. Okay, to kick things off, um, you should be making that minimum amount of $1,042 into your KiwiSaver account every year to be eligible for the government contribution of the $521, okay? This is imperative. If you don't do anything else with your KiwiSaver, this should be the number one thing that you focus on, making sure that you make up that minimum amount of $1,042 into your KiwiSaver account throughout the duration of the year, okay? The year isn't a calendar year or financial year, it's June 30, okay? So make sure you pencil that into your calendar by June 30, I've made the minimum amount of that 1,042, and then the government will give me the free $521. That's a 50% return on money, so you'd be mad not to jump in on that. So make sure you're doing that. It's about 20 bucks a week, um, works out to be, so that's my number one tip. Uh, number two would be, okay, make sure that you're with a low fee provider, okay? They're charging the minimum amount for management of the fund, okay? This is pretty crucial as well. This will impact how much you have over your investing life at the end of the day. Let's say when you turn 65 years of age, if they've been creaming one, one and a half, two percent even over your investing career, that'll your returns will be a lot less. Let's say if you were with a provider that charges less fees, okay? So you wanna be sort of going with a provider that sort of charges around that sort of 0.5% and below. Uh, that's something where I would be sort of looking to have my money invested with a provider like that does that. Um, I've got another video on my particular KiwiSaver that I'm with, so check that out if you want to learn a little bit more what uh, KiwiSaver provider I'm with and uh, the reasons why I'm with them. So yeah, check that out if you want. Otherwise, you can sort of get on CanStar and Smart Money sorted um, websites and sort of have a look where your provider is, stacking up against other providers out there and sort of see you know not only what performance they've been doing over the last few years and also the fees they charge. That is 100%. You need to be checking how much fees you get in slugged, how much they're creaming off the top, okay? And number three, this is also quite important. You want to make sure that your KiwiSaver fund is set up in a way to get the most uh, returns on your money, okay? Let's say you're a young fella or a young lass, um, you know, you've just started working. You want to be looking at more of those growth funds, okay? You've got a long term in the in the stock market, let's say, you've got 45 years, let's say you're 20 years of age, you've got 45 years of ups and downs and peaks and troughs in the stock market. So you can weather out a few storms along the way. Um, so you definitely should be looking at the growth funds, okay, rather than the cash and the conservative, which might only be returning a three, four, five percent Whereas if you're in those growth sort of funds, you're gonna be getting more of the seven, eight, nine, ten percent maybe even more if they've had a great year. So look, I'd be looking at the growth funds if you're a lot younger, even up to the age of sort of 50 odd, you could probably then maybe start thinking about, okay, maybe I could go to a more of a conservative or a more of a cash fund because I'm looking at retiring in the next few years and I can't really sustain a huge 20, 30% loss because I'm going to be pulling my money out and retiring and no longer moving forward with KiwiSaver. So that would be the only time I would sort of start thinking about transferring it into a more conservative or cash fund. Don't try and time the market and think the market's going to tank and da da da. Generally, over the long term, that will affect your returns. Okay, um, if you'd pulled out all your money at the bottom, let's say in earlier in the year in March, when the market was at its all-time low, you thought, "Oh, I can't sustain any more losses. I'm just going to pull all my money out and put it back into cash into a cash fund." that would have been a very bad mistake. You've missed out on all the growth that we've had over the last three months. Um, and then you'd be, you may be sort of hovering maybe two, 2% 2 where the market's pretty much, somehow it's recovered back to pretty much where it was prior to the um, big correction. So you've missed out on all that growth. So generally you wanna be staying in the fund. Don't be jumping and changing out of different funds thinking you can outsmart the market. You probably can't, so just Put it in there, set and forget about it. Make sure you make that minimum amount, 1042 every year, um, and make sure that the provider that you're with is charging you minimal fees, okay? So those are my top three tips for your KiwiSaver account, guys. Um, if you enjoyed those top three tips, give us a little like. It's much appreciated. Keeps me uh, going on the channel. And if you want to see some more videos like this, hit the subscribe button below. 
and you will see me on the next video. All right, guys, have a good day, and we will see you on the next video. See ya.